Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and welcome to your 20th tutorial on jQuery. And in this tutorial we are uh, going to uh, finish the user interface for the portfolio. So, and if you hear this uh, background noise, it's my computer, it's my computer's fan. Because right now I'm uh, I am exporting the previous video from the previous tutorial. That's why it's kind of loud. Alright, uh, let me be real quick and style the document. Before I do the rest, I will set margin and padding of the body to zero. And then I will continue with the header. Set it width to 100% and set it height to 56 pixels. And I will add the background color. Um, background color, not image. And I'll just say black. So, just a black header on the top. And then we already have a wrapper in the previous tutorial, and I will set it width to, to 100, no, 1024 pixels, and mean height of 500 pixels. And then I will center it using this margin 0px auto. And then I also added this line of code, I didn't do it in the previous tutorial, which I did, I just linked this CSS file to the HTML document. So let's see what do we have. So we have this header and we have all the content centered. And then what I want to do, instead of these big pictures, I want to have some thumbnails. So let's style this unordered list so that it becomes uh, like some thumbnails. Portfolio. First, I want to get rid of these bullets, of these bullets, of these bullets from the list. And uh, I will just style the portfolio. Say list style type is none. Get rid of the bullets, and then I want to um, display the list entries inline inline block actually. Display uh, inline block, and then let's set a fixed width and height, or a fixed width at least for the images, so that they look like thumbnails. And I'll just go ahead and say 240 pixels. It's a good size for a thumbnail. So yeah, now we have the thumbnails, and yeah, we actually have a kind of a problem because these pictures, no, I mean they are not the same size, not the equal size. Um, I'll just get this picture as a reference and measure its height. Its height is 161 pixels, and and this picture's height is. 180. So I'll just say 100, 170. Kind of average. Yeah. So now they are all the same height and width. And what I else? What I also want to do? I want to add some. Um, I want to make this border between them be bigger. And uh, I, I'll just do it using some margin. So like margin, 10 pixels. 5 pixels, 10 pixels, 5 pixels. Now it looks better. Yeah, but still... Yeah, it's, I think it's okay for, 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 uh, for now. Yep, so... Um, what else? What else do we have to do? I'll just add some, some logo type right here. Just on the top. And uh, I'll go to my header and I create some logo type container. Just create an a div and call it um, I don't know how to call it. Just I'll just call it menu or something. And here I'll create an an h2 tag saying jQuery portfolio. And before I continue uh, writing the HTML code, let me add some better font fonts to the web page. Fun family Arial Sans Serif. Yep. So, and what we also need is the H H2 tag in the menu should be white because in HTML the standard color for text is black. And so, how how do you call the div? I call it menu. Menu color is white. And the h2 should be margin 
five pixels, no, zero pixel. So now we have this jQuery portfolio, and now let me um, put this jQuery portfolio word just above this the first picture. So I'll just go to menu and copy this code from the wrapper. Everything except the mean height. Let me get rid of the mean height first. And now we have. Well, it's okay for this tutorial. All right. So now we kind of build this user interface for the for the portfolio. <clears throat> and in next tutorials, we'll program the portfolio. We'll have this filter here. So you can select uh, picture categories. I think I will also download some more pictures, and the pictures will be also clickable and stuff. So it's, it's going to be pretty much a fancy portfolio. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice one.